You guys completed uh, Ohio Street. Hello, fire department! Fire department, call out! Negative, we did Miramar, and now we leave Frogged, Ohio, and we are on Virginia. Fire department, call out! I have a GPS tracking system. They're watching us live. So as we go down the house, we're accounting for every single house. We're trying to account for if anybody sheltered in place. They are the South Florida Task Force 2. This team has been scouring the rubble, searching for survivors at Hurricane Ian's Ground Zero, Fort Myers Beach. Fire department! We have been running into quite a, a, quite a good amount of people that have been uh, choosing to shelter in place and try to weather out these uh, no water, no electricity conditions. Um, and it's unfortunate because right now they're starting to figure out that who knows when they're going to get electricity and fresh water. So fire department, we're starting to have to circle back and help them get out. They've been going door to door, fighting the heat and the sun, placing ribbons, indicating to other crews that a house has already been searched. Down the street, rescue team member Jenny Arguello noticed two homes completely collapsed. The South Florida rescue team that we've been following called the canine unit because they caught a scent of possible human decomposition. Uh, it could be trapped under the rubble of these two houses. So here we have a pile and it seems like it was two houses that actually converged into one. There's massive destruction, wood pilings that we can't actually see under and there are voids sometimes under there. So what we do is um, we rely on obviously all our senses, sense um, what we see, you know, just the way the house feels and things like that. Um, we'll call them out just to verify what, we, you know, just to see that is our step up, that dogs have a stronger scent than we do. This time, it was a false alarm. But in the past few days, dozens of bodies have been recovered in this town. Unfortunately, there's been, I think, more um, fatalities than anybody anticipated. As we keep walking and following the rescue personnel, we encounter more residents that refuse to leave the island before the storm. They now relate stories of grief. Tall order to fill as they keep searching and finding more victims than survivors. Fire department! Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Fort Myers Beach, Florida.